alrighty, kind of a different thing of scenery, live streaming, and uh, yeah, I figured uh, start tearing down because I plan to do the, I believe it's the MML uh, Monster headlight, so I'm going to pull off, I believe this is a Thailand spec headlight, so we're going to pull off all this and get it all tore down, so let's do that. Alrighty, so got the um, kit here for doing the monster eye. Here's the one we're gonna be doing. So uh, it's off a cheap one of these guys. So, but uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get to it. Alrighty, so after we got it unpackaged, pretty much what you're gonna do is you got a shorter bolt for up here, a longer bolt down here. With the spacer that'll go down here um and then you've got so if you actually get the headlight that it comes or like well it doesn't come with one but if you order the one that's designed for this um you shouldn't have to modify uh these spacers i had to modify them and i had to modify the headlight and such I actually had to drill holes into the back of it because if we look at this other one if we look at the back of this other one there's no holes in these. So if you were to want to do this, you pretty much have to drill holes in here. And then what I did was I stuck a, a nut inside of here, inside of here, and then pretty much you just tighten it through and tighten it to the, uh, the fan. So that's what I did. And it worked out pretty good. Um, so you'll have to end up cutting that stuff if you had opt to do that. If you don't, then you'll be good to go. Um, and then for these, I actually just cut these off of, uh, these. So that way we don't have to, uh, cut into the actual harness on the drum. And, uh, these H4, or they have an H4, uh, thing on them. So they just bolt right in. But, uh, yeah. So, continue on. Alrighty, so it's kind of actually been a couple hours. I've been monkeying around with everything. So I got it all fixed up um, Let's see gotta probably aim this thing down So Pretty much what I ended up doing was I had to shorten down these guys um, And I also drilled out these upper holes so that way it sits flush in there um, But yeah, then there's these washers that are coming out down there Not too bad. Um one thing that did happen with the, the LEDs that came with this thing, if you look at it, it's starting to separate. Come on. Focus. But it started to separate on that one. And then this one actually full-fledged. No, this, this is the one that full-fledged. Yeah. It actually broke. So I guess I would recommend using a nut on this side. And then put it in and then nut on this side. So that way it's not pressing against this because there's such a thin such a thin amount of aluminum holding that. So kinda sucky. But yeah. So I got the wires ran already for it. Um so one will be running lights and then one is the blinker. And because it's just a two wire, you only get the really option to use the one pretty sure so essentially we're just gonna hook up the blinkers that's all we really need i do think i might actually use these running light wires like these running light powers um in the future for uh like maybe a rock light or something something to shine down on the ground because i want to do that i like to put one like up here that just shines down so when you're like doing a wheelie it shines down on the ground but i also kind of want it on a toggle switch so granted you could just run from here up to the bar to a switch and then back down uh, do the same thing but uh yeah so far so good um, and then it's wired into here and it turns on with the ignition i put uh so now the underglow and the halo are on the same one so now when you turn on the key the halo comes on you can do any color on that so I can't do the no headlight yet because we're waiting on we're waiting on the replacement box for this guy um, from Steady Garage, I believe it was. So that should be here in the next couple days. 
put that in, then we'll be able to finally see what the headlight's all about. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know which one's high and low. I'm assuming the top one's low. This one's high, um, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, other than that, I guess that's really all I got so far. So see you in the next clip. Alrighty, so got this guy, and we're gonna swap it out with this one, the rectifier from uh, Steady Garage, so that way the headlight will work. So let's get this in. Alrighty, so it's in there. You kind of got to bend the bracket so that way it'll clear this. I'm sure if I didn't have the underglow stuff, it probably wouldn't have been an issue. But uh, yeah, did have to do that. But uh, yeah, so now let's check out. Just one second. Alrighty, so now turn it on. Pretty bright. And the high beam. So. Seems pretty bright. Like that. So the, that one. Yeah, so works pretty good. Um, I think that's going to be it for this one. So, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, well, the next one will be pretty much, uh, we gotta do, like, churn signals. We gotta do some powder coat work. So, yeah. It's fun, fun. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.